Cello Unlocked. This is lesson three of my Beginner Basics series. Today I'm going to be talking about how to take care of your instrument. So cellos don't like excessive heat, they don't like excessive cold, and they don't like sudden changes of temperature. So if you go to accidentally put your cello near a heater, it can actually melt apart because the cello body is glued together. Same goes if you put your cello in a really hot car for too long or a freezing cold car for too long. The strings can actually fully unravel. Then you run the risk of the bridge falling over and the sound post inside. So it's best if you keep your cello in a room that has a really consistent temperature if possible. What also helps is when you're not playing the instrument to store it in its case. When you go to play the instrument, you'll need to rosin your bow. Rosin is this little thing here. So if you've just bought a cello, it will often come with the instrument but if not, you'll have to buy some from your local music store or online. To rosin the bow, what you need to do is first tighten the horse here. You can do this by turning the screw at the bottom of the bow clockwise. Make sure you don't over tighten the bow. To check this, See if the wood has a dip in it. This is good. It means you've tightened it the right amount. To rosin the bow, you need to take the bow in your right hand, like this, and then in your left hand, take the rosin and rub it onto the horse here like this. If it's a new bow, you'll need to do this quite a few times. Once that initial rosin is over, you'll only need to rosin your bow a little bit every time you go to practice, or sometimes every second day. It really depends on how much you're playing and for how long for. So when you're finished practicing, you need to loosen your bow here. You can do this by turning the screw at the bottom anti-clockwise. This is really important to remember because if you do leave your horse here tightened all the time, you can run the risk of straightening the wood of the bow or in some worst case scenarios, creating a rainbow effect, which is really bad and you'll need to buy a new bow. So it's best if you always remember to loosen it. The other thing you need to do when you're finished practicing is to wipe off the excess rosin from the body of the cello, the fingerboard, and the strings. This is how you do it. Like this, and sometimes you have to give it a bit of a, a scrub to get it off. So the last thing I want to talk about is if you guys need to have a break in your cello playing, your cello practice, all you need to do is bring your spike back into the cello. You can do this by loosening the screw anti-clockwise, pushing the spike in, then re-tightening the screw so it doesn't fall out. Then you can just place the cello on its side, which is the safest way to place the instrument. So that's it for lesson three. Next lesson we'll be talking about how to hold the cello. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe below. Thanks for watching!